I'd like to talk to you about herniated discs. Now, a disc is this rubbery pad that's in every one of your vertebrae going from the neck down to the low back. Discs in the top at the neck are called cervical discs. In the middle of your back, it's called thoracic. In the low back, it's called lumbar discs. Now, each one of these discs has a wrapping <clears throat> called the annulus, and inside the nucleus. The nucleus is a soft material, so the point of discs is to cushion your back. When you're walking or bending or working, it provides cushion. Now, what happens to these sometimes? Sometimes they spontaneously rupture. Sometimes over time with degeneration, they get dried out and old, and often older people will see that they have discs. They're not like they used to be. So a lot of people have back pain related to discs, but <clears throat> some discs are ruptured or herniated due to a lifting event. Very common, especially if you lift in a manner where you're not utilizing your legs as much. You can rupture a disc. However, you know, I've heard doctors say that you can do it in a very benign way. There are people who have ruptured discs because they coughed hard or they rolled over in bed. So in any event, <clears throat> we see in the business of workers' comp that a herniated disc is often work-related. A doctor can take an MRI of your back and explain the herniated disc based upon your history given to that doctor that you were lifting. And the doctor can look at your MRI and say, this disc rupture just happened, or it's old. They can do that, so they can then relate it to something you just told them that you were lifting at work. Often the problem with discs uh, being herniated or ruptured is that you'll develop pain down the leg. You develop this pain because that disc material is going to press against the nerve going down your back through your spinal canal and compressing it and causing you pain and numbness down your leg. When that happens, you know, sometimes you can work it out in physical therapy, but often you need surgery. And people who have that surgery from a work-related herniated disc are often out of work for quite some time. If you find yourself in that position, call us and we'll go through the entire thing with you.